Greetings guys, this is Tokraft, and today we are looking at the new Japanese heavies on the live server guys. They have rolled out finally and I got my hands on the OI experimental using my uh, insane amount of free XP which I haven't bought. But first I have to get something off my chest and that is um, that I haven't uploaded anything for the last four weeks. I tried to, I made a Japanese heavy tank preview but that didn't go very well because... My editing program didn't render the video the right way and then all the files got corrupted and stuff so I wasn't able to upload the video which is really bad of course you can see a small part of it right now I think it's the same armor roughly as the KV-175 and 70 but as we can see the very 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 flat side armor of which is only a 70 if you have the tank like this this won't be any a problem at all to penetrate but if you angle the tank at roughly 40 degrees as we see these cheeks here these are a little bit weakly armored if you angle the tank to try and make the most out of your armor these uh, yeah these side plates here use their lose their effectiveness and will be more easy to penetrate as you can see because it's a much flatter surface now so this is going to be one of the weak points of the type heavy. But now let's take a look at the special gun this thing gets. This thing gets a 140 millimeter gun, which has 249 millimeters of penetration and a really, really, really weird alpha damage of 600. There's no gun in the game I think that has a 600 alpha damage. But I could be speaking out of my backside here. All right, so. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to upload that video. It was a video where I put a lot of time in. Probably the most uh, until now in one of my videos. But it doesn't really matter because here we have got the OI Experimental. And uh, for guys who watch YouTube videos more about World of Tanks will know that these tanks um, have gotten some crazy results with some other people. And I just wanted to see if we can get some results like those as well. Not just because I'm cocky that I want to get those insane amount of kills, but I really like the Japanese heavy tank line when it was on the test server. And most of all of them, uh, all of the stats haven't been changed. So um, I'm just going to drive these tanks on the battlefield and we'll see how it goes. Normally I would also try to put some... Um, yeah, those are consumables. I don't know how these are called again, but... Equipment, yes, that's it. I want to put some equipment on here, but for heavy tanks, as you can see, it is really expensive. So I will wait uh, until they are in, um, uh, yeah, until they are for sale. Let's just go and play in the brand new OI Experimental, and I'm really curious to see how this goes. So my first game with the OI Experimental. Let's see how it goes. The thing about this tank is, is that, um, oh my god, what a matchup. <laughs> anyway, the thing about this ma about this tank is, is that it gets almost the same armor as the KV-1. But uh, the armor isn't really effective at all if you don't uh, angle it, because this tank only gets 75mm of armor. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> the thing is, what can you do to improve your results in this thing? You have to angle the tank to get the most out of your armor because as you can see there's a KV-1 on the enemy team and uh, some other tier 5s with some rather good penetration so I will have to angle my armor as well as I can. This tank also gets a really devastating gun uh, as we can see here this is a 100mm or a 10cm gun you can um, see why this thing gets uh, 300 alpha damage but the accuracy is really bad which means that you have to engage your enemies at very close range indeed this thing gets I believe 0.4 or even less so that is really bad accuracy but anyway let's see how it goes normally uh, I would go in the city with these tanks so we are going to do this let's see if I can put a shot into that guy See, that's a very good example of the accuracy on this tank. The shed, the shell missed completely and it didn't even go close to where I aimed it. He will feel my shell though. One bounce. The first bounce. Oh god, it gave you one S. Okay, he shoots high explosive, that's good to know. And a Matilda. A Matilda. 
Okay, I'm going to repair my tracks here. He can penetrate me. Okay. Let's see how I will deal with this situation. I'm going to try and side scrape. Let's see if I can side scrape. Okay, this is not going looking very good, guys. Good shot into him though. We will need some help though if we want to win this fight. Okay, let's see if I can put a shot into this guy. Good shot onto him. Oh god, this is bad. That KV1S is really screwing me over. Okay, he's down. I have to wait until the KV1S fires because I can't take another shot of his. If I will, then uh, I've got a very high chance of getting uh, destroyed. So. Okay, he fired. Scar and take a shot. Good, he's almost down. Nice! Okay, that was the dangerous tank because he could fire at me and still do damage to my tank. Let's see if I can put a shot onto the Matilda. I have no idea how that bounced. Oh god. Angle the tank, angle the tank. Oh. He still managed to penetrate me. And I angled my tank almost perfectly. But now you see, when this tank gets overwhelmed with the majority of the enemy team um, just trying to take it out, these tanks aren't in their comfort zone. Let's uh, look at the post-game results and then head over towards the next game. So guys, here we go. I've got a high caliber for this, but yeah, this thing gets such a ridiculous alpha damage that it's not really hard to get a high caliber medal in tier 5 at all. But yeah, as you can see, I fired 8 shots, 7 of them hit, and 5 penetrated. I didn't really aim in this game, which maybe could have been my mistake. I don't really see how we could have lost this game, but this guy, I think, I don't know who killed me, uh, to be honest. Oh, this guy killed me, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, he didn't. He had 0 damage done. Uh, it has to be one of those issues, but anyway, not the best game, of course, so let's go towards another game and see how that goes. Alright, I think it's pretty obvious where I should go, isn't it? I'm going to side scrape at what some people call the banana, so let's go. I don't know why people call that the banana. Yeah, it has the shape of a banana, but to my eye, it's just a road. <laughs> anyway, let's just go. Just look at how big and preposterous these tanks are compared to the tier 5 heavy tanks. Look at that KV-1S. It's, it's a little tank. It's, it's not big. Let's see what we can do here. I hopefully my accuracy won't screw me over. Good shot. Oh wow. Oh nice shot. He managed to penetrate me as well. Nice shot. Good shot into him. You can see why this tank is yeah, played so well because this thing gets ridiculous alpha damage. It's just But the accuracy is really bad though. The accuracy is really bad. Don't want to expose myself too much. Don't want to take unnecessary shots. Nah. Maybe I should aim a bit longer. Oh god. That is bad. That is really, really bad. Okay, what should I do now? Nice. Took him out though. That's good. Let's see if I can put one more shot into those guys. Maybe I can kill the head, sir. Hope for luck. Yes. Nice. Answer is gone. Okay, those heavy tanks are waiting there. Let's put a shot into this guy. Ah, fortunately. This thing gets a really long reload time, but my crew is not the best and my equipment is not the best, so. Good shot, good shot, good shot. Okay, where's that KV1 and the OI experimental? There's the KV1. 
Oh god, he could he put a good shot into me. This will probably be the my end, guys. I didn't run away. And that is my mistake. Let's put a shot into the guy. Okay, put a good shot into him though. I can only make him bounce. Yes! Okay. Now I have to kill him. Now I have to kill him. Ah. Oh. That was quicker than mine. Well, I got killed again there. I did do my best. I did do 1,600 damage. But that's just because of this crazy alpha damage that this tank gets. So guys, as expected, we lost this game. But look at the enemy I OI experimental. He got almost 2,000 damage. Same for me, but he did just a little bit more, which got him the high caliber. Well, it doesn't really matter that much. As you can see, my accuracy wasn't that good this game, but I didn't really have the chance to aim because I couldn't expose myself for that long. Anyway, I'm really it's really interesting to see that it, it looks like the armor isn't that effective, although I angle it because this flat surface is still really easy to penetrate. I think that tier 5 isn't as good, tier for tier at least, as the OI at tier 6 because it gets such a ridiculous armor values but yeah I do quite like this tank because of its very um, good way to do damage alright let's go this thing can do over 40 kilometers an hour but I've still got the stock engine because I didn't want to free XP 27,000 experience so yeah that's a thing I will just get by playing this tank Anyway, let's just go. There's a lot of tanks here, which is good. So, the thing I don't want to do is, oh god. Oh, late reactions of mine. My bad. The guy's really lucky that he got away with that. <coughs> Can I please pass, mate? I'm not sure. Should I just go or should I? Okay, the eyes peeking out. Ah, accuracy. What the hell? What is that OI firing? Okay, good to put a good shot into him. I couldn't see through the bushes, so what I did there is I... Um, I shot on third person mode so that I could easily uh, uh, place my shots. Hopefully he's going to peek out again. But I can't take... He did. Good stuff. Put another good shot into him. Okay, he's going to die now. If he doesn't... Yeah, he died. Okay, let's, let's see if I can go forwards here now. Oh god. Let's put a good shot into him then. Okay. We're getting outflanked now. And that's a thing that this tank can't handle as good. So let's see if I can put some shots into these guys. Is he going to peek out? Don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Okay, then I will just keep on and pressuring this guy. Um, they all they all manage it. Can I put a shot into this guy? It was a bad shot. He was angled really well. Oh god. I need to put, put some shots into these guys because now they're going to attack us. Good. He's dead. Oh god. Oh, you know, let's just go. This guy won't be able to. Yeah, he's dead anyways. Okay, let's go for this guy. I don't even care, man. Let's go. Hello, little friend. Oh, back of the turret. I will gladly take that. Thank you. How you doing, mate? <laughs> oh, just look at this poor guy. He thinks, oh my god, what's this monstrosity of a tank? No! What did it do to me? Oh my god. Hello, mate. How you doing? Thank you. And as I said, we won this one. Mate, I was first, so I deserved that kill, mate. Anyway, look at that. The team was worse and we won. <sighs> anyway. Third class. Oh my god.
People play really, really, really well on this thing. It's not even funny. It's a really good way to farm high caliber metals, though. It's a really good way to farm high caliber metals. Just look at this tank, man. It's ridiculous. Uh, what I think that makes this tank special is its... Yeah, its armor is just enough, you know. You can angle the tank and it is just enough. For example, the T-14, he wasn't even able to shoot... Yeah, he was able to shoot me, but he wasn't able to penetrate me reliably. And I could just pick him apart. My reload time was long, though, but... The 300 alpha damage is really devastating, especially for tier 5. So, I think we're going to call an end here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you liked this video of me showing off the new OI Experimental. I think these things can be absolutely ridiculous. You will for sure see more of this tank on my channel. And again, I am sorry for not uploading in 4 weeks. But I didn't really have that much inspiration to make a video. And school has begun again. So I am really, really, really busy. So that was it. Again, I hope you liked this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.